Hello, Brother Hoven. Hey, I was on the other line. Sorry about that. Yeah, oh no, that's fine. <laughs> no, uh, I actually I didn't I didn't uh, leave a, a text that said, "Hey, call me." Um, my my text was just basically um, telling you that I I saw the video from Rudy Davis uh, that he okay. put out yesterday and about the divorce and the eviction, and I just wanted to know if you were okay. Oh, I'm doing fine. Yeah, I'm just I'm hurt, of course, deeply. But right. she really left me eight years ago, you know. Yeah. After I'd been in prison about a year, Eric started a new ministry, God Quest. Yeah. And then he, as he as manager of CSC, for me, claims he sold everything to himself as president of God Quest for six thousand three hundred dollars. Wow. And that's when he became the provider for my wife and everything else. She pretty much left me. And stop coming to visit, stop writing, stop encouraging, just, you know, the divorce is just, you know, I came home my first day nine months ago and had a party, welcome home, dad, and I walked down the hallway 1030 at night, and she said, by the way, you're sleeping in there now. Wow. So, trust me, that's not my wishes. <laughs> right, After right. nine years. <laughs> well, I, anyway. Man, you're, you're so, you're so positive and you're so... I mean, I I had no idea. I couldn't tell from watching your videos. You know, it's just you're you're focused and you're on a mission, and it, it's like you're undaunted. Um, but I know, I know that as a man, you know, it, it's it's got to hurt. Um, well, it does, it does. But you know, so many people in the Bible have this same problem. You know, Hosea, uh, Ezekiel God yeah. says your wife's gonna die. When it happens, don't even cry. Uh, Job, his wife left him. You know, uh, everything went wrong for Job. His kids all died. He lost his family, lost his wife. Mm -hmm. He said, "God, if you kill me, I'm still going to serve you." And, yeah. Uh, I don't. I'm no Job, but I'm sure going to appreciate talking to him when I get to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> amen. Amen. Um, well, you know, it 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 seems like uh, it seems like I mean, obviously, you're okay with people talking about it, but I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Um, it's not I I kind of it's not my place, but I want you to know well, I want you to know that. No, hang, on, hang on, there's one more thought there. All through the Bible, you read the phrase "they feared the people." I bet it's in there 20 or 30 times. I've never checked, but people modified their behavior, mm -hmm. i.e., they did something or did not do something because they feared the people. Uh, I think both both my wife and my son need to get the public pressure and say, "What are you doing? What is wrong with you?" If they start getting public pressure, that they may say, "Well, we think maybe we're maybe we are on the wrong side." Hmm. Well, you got and a strong are. point. You got a strong point. I didn't even so, I didn't even think of that. Now, you know, Herod was going to kill Jesus one time, but he didn't because he feared the people. That's the only thing that's going to get Eric back and Joe back, I think, to their common sense. Is, okay. You know, I mean, it's got to be done sweetly and kindly, but uh, I'm done right. tiptoeing through the tulip. It's, it's time to just pull back the curtain. Here, here's what they're really going on here. They they conspired to take away everything CSE had. Wow. And they did. And I came home to nothing. Well, um, so you you remain you remain exemplary, and I I commend you for that. It's fantastic. God bless you very much. And, you know, you're so gracious. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, thank um, you. We do have enough enough money now to buy the land and move in. Good, amen. Nothing to build with yet. So that's, I mean, I left Eric with everything, you know, forklift, desks, computers, hot copy machines, you know, everything a typical office has, shelves and books and boxes and materials. And I left him with probably, you know, you count up everything, $2 million worth of assets, lawnmowers and tools. And he thinks he bought it all for six thousand dollars. Okay. Wow, that's unbelievable. Oh my it's, goodness. It's bizarre. I can't believe it. So anyway, well, no, man, I, I, I'm, I'm not worried. People should make it public. I, 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 okay. Needs to be done. Okay. Well, you are an inspiration. God bless you, brother. You have a good night. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, brother. Take right, care. Bye -bye.